Hello, my name is Mrs. Hollander, and I get the opportunity to share the Bible story with you for Vacation Bible School. Today, I'm going to need your help in telling our story. When I put my hands by my face, I need you to say with me, let there be. And when we do the thumbs up, I need you to help me say, it is good. Let's try it. Let there be. It is good. All right, great job, let's start. To begin our story, we're going to close our eyes and cover them with our hands. Very good, we are about to watch something incredible happen. We will see someone, how someone powerful did something only by speaking words from his mouth. But right now, nothing is happening. There is nothing. Keeping your eyes closed, Slowly lift up your head. You feel no wind and you see no sky or birds or clouds. Keeping your eyes closed, tilt your head down. You don't see your toes, the ground, green grass, or colorful flowers. There is nothing, but there is someone. He is God. Keeping your eyes closed, get ready to say your first line. Here we go. God says, let there be light. Open your eyes. How could that have happened? There was nothing, but now there is something very bright and brand new. The light is happening during the day and the dark happens at night. There is day and night on the first day. Are you ready for your next line? It is good. God isn't finished. He has more to create. He wants to make more without using tools, wood, nails, or a magic wand, but only by using his words. Ready for our next day? Let there be sky. Clouds of all shapes and sizes are above us now. Some bring rain and wind, others bring snow, and others just bring shade. We could sit here all day and talk to each other about what strange and cool shapes we see up in the clouds, but day two is over. God has only just begun his amazing building project. It is good. It's day three now. We have light and sky, but nothing solid or green yet. God said, let there be dry ground and plants. God doesn't have a plow or a shovel, but he still makes plants appear with his words. You can watch the plants grow in front of your eyes. You can smell them, taste them, and feel them. It is good. Could that all really have happened in one day? Corn takes all summer to grow. Redwood trees grow for hundreds of years. It would take such a long time to move all that dirt to cover the whole earth. But remember, God put all of this here on earth first, which means that he created it. He did not have a dump truck or a combine or a big storage shed full of plants and dirt. We are only on day three, and God has already done a ton. He's still not ready to rest. God said, let there be sun, moon, and stars. There are tons of lights now. People standing all over the world will be able to look up and see the same moon at night. But wait, there are no people yet. Keep listening. It is good. And that was day four. Then came day five and God said, let there be fish and birds. The air is full of chirps and songs and the water is full of splashes on day five. It is good. God said, let there be more animals. No, you're not at a zoo. There are, these are wild animals that God just spoke into being. And on that day, he said, it is good. God said, let there be people. He made Adam and Eve. They lived here first, and all the people on the world came from them. Day six is the end of creation. God created everything that exists in just six days. That's less than a week. It is good. God is resting now, but only for this day, the seventh. 
After this, God will do so much more for us. He will bring us onto earth and make us his people. Stay tuned for more about what God will do after creation. As for now, enjoy what he gave us and take great care of his earth. That's the end of our story for today. And now you can go over our questions and discuss them with your friends and family.